Hello my friends, let's have a look at how we can use audio compression, dynamic range wise, not data wise, inside Unreal Engine. First things first, settings, plugins, audio, enable, synthesis and DSP effects. And actually you can enable just anything just to, to just play around with it. I mean like why not? <laughs> it doesn't break anything so far. So I have this gun sound, okay? I just disabled the submix, let's listen to it and also record the output of the Unreal Engine. Okay, as we can see, all the gunshots are pretty much the same volume, but the effect that I want is, I want the first shot to be super snappy and I want the rest to be compressed, so it sounds like that. Let's record the output. Okay, let's see what it looks like. As we can see, the single shots get through very nicely, but then when the full auto starts, the volume drops. So how was this done? Inside the sound queue, we're sending our sound to a submix. The submix has a couple of effects on it. In our case, we're looking at the compressor. The compressor is working in a root uh, RMS way, so it's looking at the overall energy of the sound. Long attack time, long release time, whatever. All these settings will remind you of your audio teacher telling you to listen to the audio instead of looking for like 4 or 6 dB of gain reduction. Fuck that. <laughs> here you are forced to listen and I love that. So I just listened and I set my stuff up the way I wanted it to sound. I also experimented with using a source effect chain, like using compression on the source, but that obviously compressed every single shot. But I want the series of shots to be compressed, which is why I use a submix. An important information here is that the submix is active after specialization. So if you have a lot of sounds going left and right or whatever the fuck, they all get sent through the submix. So that's important to know. It's not just for your sound. It's actually all the sounds you send to the submix, okay? And in my case, I'm using a very specific submix for submix gun first person compressor. That's all I'm using right now. And of course we can then, you know, just do other submixes like weapons general or whatever. Anyway, this is how I use compression in Unreal Engine, and it's really cool because this sounds more boring than this. You know, first shot, loud, the rest is quieter. It's actually the same way our human ear works, because we have this little muscle in our ear that, uh, how do you say, um, it's doing a couple of things and then it actually lowers the amplitude of the sound we're hearing, okay, that's like simplified. Anyway, guys, I hope this helps. I can only encourage you to start using submixes, submix effects. There's so much cool stuff going on in the Unreal Engine. And if you like this video, share it, subscribe, notification bell and everything, because I want to build up this channel as an Unreal Engine focused audio sound design channel. And it's a crazy experiment, but I think that we can have a lot of fun together. All right, guys, enjoy your day. Bye bye.